don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we will be taking a look at the Art of Duplicates AOD01 Deformation Glider. This is uh, their knockoff version of the DX9 Richtofen, and I have both of them, so I will be showing them off. Let me begin by saying, uh, I, I ordered this, it came in the mail, I pre-ordered it without a whole lot of information about it. This, I was hoping, was going to be a legend scale version of the DX9 Richtofen, and it is not. It is a flat out KO from what I can tell. So, here's your front of the box, the side of the box, the back of the box has your product shots, side of the box, Top of the box, bottom of the box. Opening the box up. <sighs> Empty box. Okay. Uh, we get the figure in a plastic clamshell. We get a packet of instructions. There does not feel like there's any type of card or anything in there. So. We get the pieces for the display stand right here, and we get the top piece as well. We get his gun, okay. We get the mask. Okay. We get the girl. Okay. And we get <clears throat> the figure itself. And we'll take a minute <clears throat> and we will right now compare these two. So here is the one right out of the box. And right here is the um, the DX9 version. And as you can see, they are apparently identical. If you haven't seen my video, uh, I did a repro label set on him, so he is different. Uh, only in as much as the, the stickers are different. Let's see here. At least that's my initial impression. So to separate these two, uh, we're going to put his gun in his left hand. I have noticed he is having he is having a harder time standing than that one. But to look at them, I mean, they look pretty much exactly the same. Side profiles, exactly the same. Back, well, this is probably my not having it done right. Same and the same. Okay, so let's see, since we're comparing apples to apples, uh, why don't we, why don't I cut right here and show you the size on a scale. So the official weighs in at 121, 120, I think that's ounces. The knockoff weighs in at 118, 117. So I suppose the difference might be the sticker set. All right, so I am going to go ahead and transform deformation glider here. I go through everything and kind of uh, just, you know, I, I don't have to be really quick with this because if you're really interested, you can go watch my other video, uh, the DX9 Richtofen one. So let's get into this. To the top of this, he's standing six and a quarter. Uh, width wise, uh, eyeballing it, I'd say maybe two and a half. 
shoulder to shoulder we're looking at three and three quarters approximately <clears throat> all right the head can do a full yes 360 uh, let's see can he do the face mask thingy I have the same problem with this one that I had with the other one which is um, making it stay so that you can get the stupid thing on there but yes it will stay on there okay <clears throat> taking a look here at the figure itself we get pretty blue eyes <clears throat> this paint is not quite as crisp as I would prefer uh, you have sprue marks right here if, if they're coming off on camera the arms this is silver silver right here this is flat paint uh, they can do a full 360 they can go out that far so yes he can do we the this is a pretty little silver. It's it's mute. Uh, it's a muted silver, and I kind of like that. Let's see. Coming down the figure, the hands. He has eternal typewriter syndrome. They're pinned. The index finger is uh, individual, but the rest of them, the other three are not. The thumb is a fixed piece. Elbow bend is double jointed, so we get that. Uh, waist articulation is very very tight but it is there legs the hip skirts move out of the way uh, this is as far as you're going to get for the Chinese splits you have some more of that silver right here uh, some silver right here you have a thigh swivel built in right here forward and back these are hip skirts very tight very very tight oh wow I mean really tight uh, this is the best he's going to be able to do for Chinese splits wow these joints are very tight <clears throat> the knee bend is 90 degrees uh, this is all kind of a polished plastic this one's not as polished uh, the feet can go down that far that far and we do get a rocker that is as far out as you're going to get with the rocker all right let's see we've covered articulation we've covered a uh, close-up look at him i guess now what we need to do is Let's see the first thing we want to do is pop this up put the typewriter fingers in rotate the hand around so that it looks like this tuck it in and close it up do this on both sides just like this all right you can go ahead and pop the wings if you want if they haven't already rotate your head around Let's see here. Rotate your thighs so that the red part is showing on both sides. Okay. Go ahead and open these up and close that back down. Close that together. Open this up. Take this little piece right here that plugs into that hole right there. Close it up. Just like this. Sorry about the cut there, folks. I'm not important enough to get random phone calls, so if somebody calls me, it's probably important. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and undo these. This may not be the correct uh, specific order in which this stuff's supposed to go, but as long as we get there, I think that's the important part. Rotate your thigh so that this can set like that. 
<clears throat> excuse me, yeah, like this. Set that down right there. This will rotate around. This will rotate around. And now we unclip this, and move this, move this hinge down, and this will come set flush if it's done right, right here. Bring this little armature around, rotate it up, pop up the landing gear just to make life easier for you in the future. If you can, go ahead and get that into place, and then you can, well, maybe you have to bring the, yeah, you got to bring the legs in first. Okay, we can, there should be a clip here, there is, right here, there's a very tight clip that will help keep your tail here together, like that, go ahead and push this up, and I think I mentioned this in my Richtofen review, you put a whole lot of torque on this little section here, and there's not really a good place to uh, wiggle it into place. I have to say, that one went a whole lot easier than the other one, than the official. Go ahead and move these up. Rotate these around. S collapse them. Make sure that your hole here goes in like that. Yep, that's right. You can go ahead at this time and, if you can, pull up your landing gear. Rotate this around. Rotate that so that can go forward. Collapse these in using that joint and push them over this will collapse in like that there's a pin and a port right here to get that in place pin and a port and I forgot to pull down the landing gear on this side go ahead and push these little pins in push down push down push up push up and I think we're done. I think that's it. So, <clears throat> no, we're not done yet. I forgot. We've got to pull this piece here up so that we can rotate, rotate it around. <sighs> Come on now. Pull up. <sighs> All right, got to get that soft camera for just a second. I apologize, but sometimes these things just aren't really conducive to doing what they're supposed to, and I still don't think I got it. I almost have it. This pulls up and rotates around. All right, it's a KO. <laughs> if I break it, at least you all see what I'm dealing with here. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to have to take tools to get this to do what it's supposed to do. Come on, rotate around. Come on, you can do it. I have full faith and confidence in you. Come on now. Damn. I mean, I know one one guy commented on one of my videos that said uh, you should you would look more competent. I think is how he said if you transform this thing before you just uh, open it up and try to do it on camera. Well, I think, and I, I hold to the fact that if you see me struggling with it right out of the box. You all might struggle with it too. Might realize what you're getting yourself into before you buy. And you may not, there we go, want to buy then. Whew. All right. And here is the additional landing gear. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> it's in there. And I'm not going to mar the the thing just to get the landing gear out. So, uh, yeah, here it is. It is approximately uh, six and a half long, wingtip to wingtip, uh, just shy of seven, if not seven, height-wise. Uh, 
two inches. Okay. So compared to the other one, it looks like that. Okay. It can fit on its flight stand. in such a manner. Okay, so yes, it works on its flight stand. <clears throat> I may try to get this out here in a minute because it is a pain in the tail. But regardless, here he is. I guess now it's time to do some size comparisons, isn't it? Thoughts wise, as far as KOs go, this one's okay. Uh, it is pretty much exactly like the other, uh, like the Rectifin. If you, I, I mean, even as far as if you really wanted to, you could probably just uh, get the D uh, the sticker set from Toy Hacks and sticker this one up too if you wanted to. I mean, it is it is that similar. Uh, one point of contention, I have not been able to get the. the front landing gear out it is simply too tight and if I try too hard it is going to basically mar the front of the figure and I really don't want to do that the plastic quality is really pretty good we saw the weight of it and I was surprised that it was actually a, a tiny bit smaller ounce wise than the uh, official but you know things like that happen uh, I, I, I like DX9 Richtofen, but I think I've already mentioned I would not have purchased this. I don't need it. Uh, I wouldn't have purchased it had I realized that this is um, a retool, uh, retool, a flat copy of the other. I really wanted the Legend scale like this, and I think it would have been great. But you know, it is what it is, and we should all just be happy for the fact that this exists. Uh, KO wise or otherwise I wasn't even in this video what the hell's wrong with you well after the video with you and the other nemesis um, I figured you probably needed a break haven't we already done this review before yes we did this review but not with this particular figure uh, it was the official this is the knockoff is there a knockoff version of me um, good lord I sure hope not the hell you mean by that? Well, if you're as problematic uh, as you are, I can only imagine that the knockoff would be worse. Did you just insult me? Probably. <laughs> Shouldn't you tell these people if you uh, recommend this or not? So now you're telling me how to do my reviews. Well, yeah, that, that's kind of my job. No, that's not your job, Nemesis. Your job is to be pretty and show up when scale time comes. But you didn't use me. Yes, so let's get the hell off the screen, Nemesis. I don't want to go. Tough. Get out. Alright, so do I recommend this? If you recognize the fact that this is a KO, it's a well-built figure. Uh, it, it, it is... As far as I can tell, there is absolutely no improvement whatsoever from the original. So, I recommend you buy the original. If you can't afford the original, if you can't find the original, I think this is perfectly acceptable. Uh, so, yes, I recommend you buy the original first. If you can't find it, kind of like that new Striker Manus that they've got coming out, um, the KO version of that is supposed to be a copy just like this one is. So if you weren't able to get the original striker, you might be able to get that one. This is kind of the same thing. If you want a copy of the Power Glide that we got, this one seems perfectly acceptable. All right, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you.
Vitamin John. Apparatus are standing by.